Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking 3D text using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have here is we need to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second and a duration of 5 seconds. Once we've got that, we need to add our animated background. So to do this, we need to create a new solid and I'm just going to label this background and then I'm going to press OK. Now we need to come over to our effects and presets panel and then we need to drop the four color gradient onto our background. And now you can see we've got all these nice colors. But we want to get some colors from Color Hunt. So I'm just going to download a palette and then dump it into my project files. So once you've got a color palette from Color Hunt, you can just drag it in here and I'm just going to put it off to the side because we only need it for the eyedropper. So now I'm going to go back to my background layer and I'm going to go to my effect controls and I'm just going to change all of these colors to the colors that I have in my color palette. So something like that. Now we're going to animate these things. So what we need to do is we need to come to the start of our animation. So we, we're on frame zero or frame one. And then we're just going to come over here and click on point one, point two, point three, point four. We're going to move forward to the end of the animation. And then we are going to move these things around. So I'm going to move that one around there. I'll move that one to over there. And then I'll move this one to let's say down there. And so now if you've done that correctly, you will see that you get some movement happening on your background. And that's exactly what we want. But we want to make this even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to play around with some of these blend settings. So we're just going to bring blend down all the way to five. And then I'm just going to hit the stopwatch. We're going to bring it up to the end of the animation. And I'm just going to bring it up to something like a thousand or something like that. And so now if you've done that correctly, you can see this animating background and then it kind of goes into one kind of solid mixture of all the colors. Anyways, it's looking pretty good. So we're going to move on to the next step. I'm just going to uncheck that for now, but I'll, I will be using it later. So now the next thing that we have to create is we have to create some text. So what we need to do is I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to grab the T tool and then I'm just going to click anywhere on my screen. Now the font that I'm using here is called Boldfinger, but you're free to use whatever font that you want. And then you can go and write your text. So now I'm going to write 3D text. I'm just going to hold control and double click behind the pen behind the um, tool to move the anchor point to the center and then I'm just going to align it to the middle of my page. Now you can go back to your uh, character settings and you can change some of these things if you want to bring the text closer together. So maybe I'll bring it to let's say zero. And if you want to make the text bigger, smaller, you can do that with your font control settings over there. So once you're happy with that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to come back to effects and presets and we are going to look for transform. And so I'm going to drag that to the text layer. Now in transform, what we want to do to get text on an angle is we are just going to change the skew to negative 10 so that we can have that text on that angle. So once we have that, then we need to go and go back into effects and presets and we need to search for text bounce. And so I'm just going to drag that to my text layer and you can see what happens once you have that. It's got a nice animation that bounces the text. Now we need to change a few things in this. The first thing that we need to change is we're just going to come over here and open up the 3D text layer and I'm going to open up the text settings and then the animator settings and the position. I'm just going to move the text until it's off the screen. So now that it's off the screen, now if I preview that back, the text actually flies in from the top and that's looking pretty good. The next few things that we want to change is we want to change the bounce frequency to about six. We want to change the bounce decay to probably about 40 and the slider we're just going to lower that down to let's say 0.2 so now playing around with some of the settings you're free to experiment with whatever you want actually i'm just going to bring that slider back down to four because i think it just bounces way too much 
So once you're happy with your text, we need to come over here and pre-compose it. So just right click pre-compose and I'm just going to call it text. And so I'm just going to press enter. Once we've done that, then what I need to do is I need to press P on my keyboard for position. I need to hold Alt and click on this stopwatch and I need to write something in here. So the expression that I'm going to write is I'm going to open up the square bracket and then I'm going to write position. So all I'm going to do is find where it says position, press enter and then I'm going to open up the square brackets again and then I'm going to write zero and then I'm going to press comma and I'm going to do the same thing again, position, open up the square bracket, it automatically closes it for you by the way. And then after you've got position zero and position one, then I'm going to write index, All right, press enter and then I'm going to write plus four and then I'm going to close that square bracket and then close it off with the semicolon. So now if you've done that correctly, you won't have any underlines or anything happening here and we can move forward to the next part. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to come over here and make this a 3D layer. So we're just going to click on that. Now if you don't see them, then all you have to do is just come over here and press toggle switches. Once we've done that, then you need to duplicate this a number of times. So I'm going to do this probably about 25 times. But if you want to do it more than this, you can. It just means that the, the 3D-ness of the text will be a little bit bigger. But there's no real number that you have to follow. So I've done it about 35 times. So once you have that, then what we need to do is we need to create a new camera. So I'm just going to come over here and just go to layer, new camera. And I'm going to choose the 50 mil camera and I'll leave everything else just like how it is. Just press OK. And now if we've done that correctly, what we need to do is we can come over here and we are going to have a look at the orbit around the cursor tool and we're just going to bring it out a little bit. And you can see that not much is actually happening here. So as long as we've got it like on an angle here, then we can start to change the colors and start to give this real fake 3D text. Um, you know, we can start to actually see it. So what we need to do here is we need to change the fill on the first layer. So we need to come down to this layer over here and then we need to search for an effect which is called fill and then we can come and drop it on that layer and you can see if you've done this correctly you can see that now the color is of that fill is going to be on the actual text and then you can see the white which was the the multiple copies that we've made over here so if you want to keep adding copies then this text will kind of extrude a little bit more but I'm happy with that and so what I need to do is I just need to come over here to my fill and I need to go and grab a color from my color hunt palette. So I'm just going to bring that up all the way to the top so I can just uh, just move it around and see it. Okay, so I'm going to go back over here, change the fill to whatever you want. So if you want that color there or you can change it to you know, whatever suits. So I'm going to go with the darkest color there because I think it really stands out and it looks pretty nice. So now once we've got our colors set, I can uncheck that eye because we don't really need it. And I'm just going to come over here and just make it a little bit larger. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the last layer. So I'm going to make sure that I'm on the last layer of the text and I'm going to look for another effect which is called CC Radial fast blur and I'm going to just dump that into that last layer there and you can see what happens here now it's got some really cool lighting kind of effects that are coming through with that white so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to move the center point to where we want it so I'm just going to move it to maybe somewhere up there and I'm just going to bump up the amount to about 60 and then if I want to change the color, for example, if I want to make this a shadow effect, I can put a fill on there and then I'm just going to change the color to black and you can see it kind of standing out there. So now if your center, if you don't like where it is, you can always move it around so that you can get some different kind of effects. And if the amount is too much, then you can always bring it down 
to whatever you like. But once we've got that, the final thing that we need to do is we need to make this all move. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go back all the way up to our camera. And what we need to do is I'm just going to press P for position and I'm going to set the stopwatch to start a keyframe. And then I'm going to move forward in time. And by the way, if your computer is lagging a bit, you can always just change this to a, a quarter and it will be much smoother so that you can easily edit this composition. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get to the end and then I'm just going to come back over here and grab my orbit tool and I'm just going to move it around. So you don't have to move it that much. And so now if you preview that back, you can see that the animation comes in and that's looking pretty cool. It's still bouncing and while it's bouncing, then the camera is now moving slightly and it will end up at its end position, which is over here. Now, if you want to, you know, make that a little bit more noticeable, then what you can do is you can, you know, play around with some of the keyframe settings just like that. So now I've got like the text bouncing and the camera moving at the same time. So I think that's looking pretty cool and that's about it. So yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys next time.